What's up, YouTube? Today is a very special day. A date which will live in infamy. Today is a day that I've been planning on for legitimately like two months. I don't know. This thing has been a little bit of a process in planning, getting material, everything involved. Today I want to talk about my ballista. I'm going to show you how I built it really quickly. Not a play-by-play -play or anything, just basically a few shots of how it came together. Now you might be wondering to yourself, what the heck is a ballista? So if you don't know what a ballista is, it's one of those ancient Roman siege weapons that we all know and love. When you think of Romans, what do you think of? The first thing that comes to mind is maybe the Colosseum, gladiators, little tiny baby swords, maybe those little helmets with the weird sideburn things that they had. <laughs> They're cool, but they're kind of weird. For me, it's the siege weapons. One of the coolest things that they did was build these giant seed weapons. They build these giant seed, seed weapons. They build these giant siege weapons. Another one that everyone's heard of is the catapult or like trebuchets. Siege weapons are these giant wooden structures that can fire projectiles, throw giant boulders, things like that. Towers that they used to get over walls, all kinds of things. Think Lord of the Rings, the third movie, and the giant battle. They had those towers getting on top of the wall, giant catapult things throwing huge stones into the city, giant battering ram just smashing in the door. That's the type of stuff that I've always been fascinated with. So rewind to a little while ago when I was able to get my hands on a ton of wood. <laughs> One of the first things I thought of was that I need to make a YouTube video. The second thing I thought of was I'm gonna build a siege weapon. So this is that video. The cool part about a ballista, when you think of a normal bow or a crossbow, the wood itself is flexing. A key thing to look at with a ballista, the arms coming out to hold the string that launch the projectile don't flex. What flexes is there's actually ropes coming down and wrapping around those arms and then those ropes are twisted. They twisted them forward so that, that arm had a ton of torsion toward the front. And then when everything was pulled back, what actually generates all that force comes from the ropes. When the projectile is released, the ropes are twisting and it snaps those arms forward. So this one that I've built, historically ballistas varied in size. I've seen pictures and illustrations of some that were super huge, like as tall as a building. I've seen some that were like three or four feet long. At that point, it's just basically a really big crossbow. The one I made is definitely big. It's not as big as a building. From tip to tip on the arms, it's about 10 feet. And the projectile it's launching is about six feet long. So not enormous. It's not shooting something that's gonna breach a castle wall by any means, but a six foot long, two inch diameter projectile is still gonna do quite a bit of damage. I think it's something that I'm gonna have a lot of fun with. And I can't wait to see what we do with it. Enough of this boring explanation history stuff. Before we head out to the farm though, I just wanted to thank everybody that has watched my videos. It's not the easiest thing to get in front of a camera like this and you guys supporting me is awesome. The reason I'm doing it though is so far I'm having a ton of fun making these videos. I hope you guys are having as much fun watching them. So a couple things you can do to help me out and help the channel grow is to like, comment, and subscribe. Quick and easy to do, completely free, and it helps me out a ton especially because it's the best way that I can know that you actually like the stuff I'm putting out. Right now I'm coming up on 200 subscribers, which in comparison to a lot of channels doesn't seem like a ton, but to me it seems weird that almost 200 people would even wanna watch my stuff. So thank you guys so much for that support. Let's go after the fun. All right, we're out of the farm and this is our long anticipated ballista. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Not gonna lie, like Eric's been building this in his garage. I didn't have really any any idea other than a couple sneak peek pictures and pretty wicked. And we'll see if it actually works. If it does work, time well spent. The only thing I didn't think about was how you actually aim it. I guess we're gonna figure that out and see if it's actually accurate. We'll see. <laughs> we're gonna die. Okay. <laughs> Safety glasses. Okay, so for this first one, we're all kind of scared and uh, we're, we definitely have safety glasses on. We're, we're aiming at that red tank over there. So we'll see if we can actually hit it. Man, I'm getting so foggy. Do it. One second. 
What? All right, hold on. You know what? It's because of this stupid pipe. Gotcha. They only safety glasses on there. Okay. Round two. Ready? This is freaking gay. Dang it! That was a little bit of a bust. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ballista and fire it at this pumpkin right here. I think one of the main takeaways from this is that we're gonna have to tinker with it to actually make it work right. We're gonna post an update video later on after we get it working right. Honestly, I built this in my garage. I didn't know if it was gonna work. The fact that it even shoots a bolt out of it is honestly amazing. Need some more R&D and then we'll be ready to wreck some stuff with it. Maybe it'll surprise us on this second one third one. We're gonna shoot this pumpkin, hopefully, from like five feet away. <laughs> Ballista test at a pumpkin from five, uh, 10, it's uh, 10,000 feet away. 10,000 feet ballista test. 10, 100,000 feet test. Two, one, five pumpkin. So it didn't quite make it, <laughs> didn't quite make it the 10,000 feet test. All right, we, we're just almost released it. <laughs> we brought it back to about 5,000 feet. We're gonna see if it'll make 5,000 feet. Direct hit. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Dang, that's a ton of damage. Okay, so like we said before, we're gonna keep tweaking this thing. Need some more research and development. We're gonna send it back to the lab. Uh, we'll get the Oompa Loompas working on it. <laughs> we'll see what we can conjure up. Now that it's out here and actually not in my garage, we'll have a lot more space and time to actually test it and get it tuned in. So we'll do an update video. Make sure you like and subscribe to catch more videos about this. Put him in the dirt, say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Never rehearse, jump in it first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. Uh, this is absurd, stand to preserve. Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve.